What is up? It is your boy Night here today, back with a brand new video. And today's video, I'm going to be doing my version of the winners and losers of the 2017 National Basketball Association Draft. Now, there's been like hundreds and hundreds of winners and losers, but this is just who I think are the winners and losers of the draft. Anyways guys, so before we hop into the video, this is not a vlog. Um, I just, you know, I've been doing vlogs now for, or changed it to now vlogs for about a couple, I don't know, a couple weeks, a couple months now, so I decided I'm going to do more videos like these. Um, I will be doing a recap in my next video and then I'm going to get back into vlogging, but I just wanted to take a break from vlogging and actually do a video that a lot of people might want to see. Now, I know the NBA draft was on Thursday. Um, currently, current day is Sunday. Um, I thought there was more rounds in the NBA draft. That's why I didn't make the video right away, but apparently there's not more rounds, so the NBA draft ended then Thursday and you know, stuff, so, and then I had a baseball tournament. Uh, this weekend, so I wasn't able to make a video right away for you guys, so I'm sorry about that. Still got the video out, and uh, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe down below, like my videos, uh, comment down below, and keep watching, turn on post notifications if you want to see videos up to speed. If you do, you can, like, there's a, I might do a giveaway for, like, first 10 views. I, I don't know if I'll do that, but just make sure you turn on post notifications so you get uh, videos of me. And uh, yes, yeah, so anyways guys, let's hop right into it. We'll start out with my favorite team, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And now, if you guys know, they had a pretty rock solid draft. I'm not necessarily sure, but I know they're. I think they're going to be a very good team. So here's what happened. If you did not know, Timberwolves got Jimmy Butler from the Chicago Bulls. They also got a like number sixteen pick or yeah, I think it was number sixteen pick. I'm not hundred percent sure about that. Then the Bulls got Zach Levine, Chris Dunn, and their number seven pick, which Zach Levine, I I think is going to be good. Um, the winner and loser here out of this, the winner obviously this is the Timberwolves, my favorite team, and the loser is Chicago because you traded a superstar basically so that you can rebuild in a way and I don't really think that was a smart idea. You guys were actually in playoff contention with Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade. Now Dwayne Wade will be with you guys because he exercised his contract like a days before the NBA draft. But still, now that uh, Dwayne Wade's gone, I think Zach Levine and Chris Dunn will be a good fit, but I don't think they're going to replace Jimmy Butler. Zach Levine I think will be good. Chris Dunn, he was okay last year. Zach Levine tore his ACL halfway through the year. I don't know who the Bulls picked with their number 7 pick, so that's a little strange. but. The number 16 pick also for the Timberwolves is going to be good as well. So overall, the Timberwolves now have Butler, Towns, Wiggins. Big three right there. That is a big three in the making. I think personally next year the Minnesota Timberwolves will make the playoffs. I don't think they're going to win the championship. I think they'll make the playoffs, win the first round, lose the second round because we'll probably play like Golden State or something like that so that's never fun. Anyways guys so that is the first winners and losers and uh, yeah so let's just go into the number two now this may be getting some criticism for it but I'm gonna put the Lakers as a loser in the NBA draft and the reason why I say that is because I don't think Lonzo Ball is gonna be good in the NBA. Now yeah he was fantastic amazing one of the best players in college basketball last year, no duh, you're the number two pick, you must be pretty good. I don't think his talent, watching his highlights, watching his play, I don't think his talents at like what, 6'6 six, six point guard, I don't think that that will be good in the NBA. I think maybe if you converted him to a shooting guard or a small forward, that would be better. But you traded D'Angelo Russell, so you kind of have to make it so that he is the point guard. But I think he's not going to be good enough for the NBA draft. I mean, the NBA. I think that the Lakers, you know, busted a pick there. Personally, um, I think that he won't be that good in the NBA. His dad says he will be, but personally, I don't think he will be good in the NBA. So I'm sorry for all you Lakers fans that are out there. That is why I put the Lakers, and they took a big fat L, you know. In my heart, they took a loss in the draft. The next team, we are going to go straight to the 76ers. They for sure 
100% got a big win in that NBA draft. I have never, ever seen a team now with Fultz, Embiid, who is the third one? Fultz, Embiid, okay, why can't I think of the third one? Okay, whatever, right as I, until I think about it, Fultz, a great player, he's a great guard, I think he's going to be great in the NBA. First season, I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I think that he will be okay. He's not just going to be outstanding, but I think in the years to come that um, he'll be a great player. I'm, I'm trying to figure out <laughs> um, why can't I think of who it is? No, stop. Let me look this up quick. I'm going to be stupid for not knowing this. Ben, ben Simmons, that's who I was thinking of. Ben Simmons had a whole year off last year because he injured himself. Joel Embiid, him alone, he didn't even play most of the season. Well, I mean, he did, but he didn't play a lot of minutes. He did pretty well by himself, but now you're adding Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz, big three. Not next year. I'm not thinking next year. I'm thinking the year after and the years, a couple years after to come, they will be one of the best teams in the NBA draft. Now, I think, you know, I think the Cavaliers and Warriors, um, I don't think they'll make the finals next year. Maybe the Warriors, but I think probably, I don't think the Cavs. I think they'll be like Pacers, or not Pacers, um, like Raptors or something like that, Wizards, Celtics. Um, I think that would be, I mean, that that's, goes into my next play. The Celtics, they're also a winner. The Celtics, you know, a great team. I think Isaiah Thomas is amazing. Um, he is like, what, five feet tall, but he just dribbles around everyone, pulls up for three. He's a great shooter. He's a great player. Him alone, he's kind of like Westbrook. Him alone is a whole no another story. Westbrook, I don't, you know, if what, never mind, that's a different video, but he did it on his own, basically. Yeah, Celtics have some good players, you know, you got Crawford, you got, um, uh, my gosh, Sollinger, no, he didn't even play better anymore. Anyways, guys, I think the Celtics got just, or that Tatum guy from Duke, he is really good. I think he's going to be a perfect fit in Boston. I don't think Marco Fultz, or, yeah, just Fultz. I don't think Fultz would be good for Boston. So I think the Boston Celtics are a winner because they did basically trade to get the third pick. But if he would have gone to the Celtics, he's a guard. Where would he go? You got Isaiah Thomas, and then you got him, Fultz. That's not going to go well. So I think the Celtics are a big winner. Justin Tatum, or however you say his name, he's going to be a great fit. I think the Celtics have a real contention here to win the NBA championship, let it alone make it to the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. And that is going to wrap it up for today, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. As always, remember to like this video, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. It is your boy now, Vlog Sign Now. Peace. Like I said, I wasn't going to do much. Teams. I was just going to do a couple teams because I didn't want to make this video entirely long. Next video, okay, next video I think will be recap video. I'm not going to, you know, just tell you what it is. I'm gonna just, I wanted to make this video to get it out for you guys now that I actually have time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. Any video suggestions, comment down below. I'd love to hear your suggestions. And until next time, it's your boy Never Day Now Vlogs. Signing out. Peace. Talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.